Hi guys, uh, good morning from United World Capital and uh, Cyprus. Once, once again, we are going to, I'm going to concentrate on the Euro situation. The Euro is still under tremendous pressure. Yesterday we saw the Euro falling uh, uh, below uh, 121 in relation to US dollar. This morning it's a little bit stronger with uh, 121.12 but I suspect that the Euro is going to be under still pressure and uh, analysts are predicting that the Euro might fall so far as so far down as 110 in the run of the next half year. The pressure on the euro is now again uh, due to the uh, situation in Spain where many analysts are now predicting that Spain would need to follow the suit of Greece, Portugal and Ireland and ask for a sovereign bailout. Uh, also today uh, we have an interesting situation in the oil market where uh, oil is uh, falling uh, for the second day in a row and uh, we also have had the same bad situation in the stock markets started with the United States yesterday uh, evening uh, especially after the results of one of the heavyweights, McDonald came in with a negative result or lower uh, results than the experts had predicted. Uh, in Asia, the uh, South uh, Asian Pacific Index was falling again a little bit uh, this morning after the steep falls we had yesterday. Uh, I think that the uh, traders today would be mainly occupied again with uh, the movements uh, in the US dollar euro picture and uh, but there are also interesting movements in other currencies like uh, Australian dollar and also then New Zealand dollar uh, and the Scandinavian currencies as Norwegian and Swedish crown. Uh, that's a short summing up of the market and currency situation. I wish uh, all of you traders out there a very good trading day. Thank you very much.